whether heretic, demon, or alien. No one expects the Holy Order of the Emperor's Inquisition. Paint or death! Welcome to the painting phase! With Shadow Vault hitting the shelves, we decided we're going to do another three-part series on teaching you guys how to paint the set over a short period of time, so maybe an evening or two, or even a weekend. We're going to be starting first with the Kazakhin Kill Team. Now, we did a poll on both Patreon and YouTube, and we did a couple of options, but what went out was the black and red scheme of the old Inquisitional Kill Team that was done back in the day, so the Stormtroopers of the Inquisition. So that's the colour scheme we're going to be doing today. We'll be taking you through first how to get on the tabletop, so a couple of base coats, a bit of a dry brush here, and then we'll do some extra steps after if you want to put a little bit more effort a few extra highlights here and there so just make it look a little bit more swanky now some of you it may not have escaped your attention but i've been using a wet palette of late because i love wet palettes and i've been using an army paint one and they very kindly sent me some brushes so i'm really excited about using these brushes in this video i've not used them before so i'll be employing the dry brush and a couple of the other brushes as well so yeah super excited to see how i get on with them as well now as always before we begin painting we will need to undercoat the model i'm using mechanica standard gray here it's a nice color for the scheme i'm going to be using however if you don't have that spray use whatever you've got or an airbrush and base coat it by hand it doesn't really matter but gray will be perfect as the first step we're going to be doing is a dry brush and you kind of need the gray as an undercoat again doesn't have to be mechanica standard gray any kind of like field or battleship gray will work Our first step is to heavily dry brush over the model with Rakar Flesh. This will act nicely as a pre-highlight for when we apply our contrast in a moment or two. As I said, next up is our first contrast. And for this, we'll be using Flesh Terrors Red and we're we'll gonna be applying this over the cloth. Now I'm doing a mix here of 50-50 water and contrast. As it dries, you'll see some of that Rakar Flesh popping through, which will really help emphasize those highlights. And again, don't worry about if you get this on the armor or the leather, as it'll be tied up with Mechanica Standard Grain in a moment, or coating over with black later on. So be as messy as you need to at the start. Now, in some of our previous videos, we've had a few people comment and request as shown how to paint more difficult to reach areas, such as like when you've got guns in front and stuff like that. So as you see on the sniper, there's a big whopping gun in front. Again, I'm not being super neat here. I'm just slapping that into those areas that are red, knowing full well that I'll tidy back up with Black Legion or a bit of gray after it's dry. Again, starting off, always a bit messy. Now we're gonna apply iron and steel to all the silver sections. In some places, like the guns or the backpacks, you might want to add a second coat. If you need to, we need to do at this point is just tidy up any areas such as like the cloak pouches leather details with mechanica standard gray just a little bit here and there in preparation for the next stage now first up we're going to be using black legion straight from the pot we should be coating over the armor with this so again you don't have to worry if there's some red already on there because this black legion is going to coat straight over that Now I'm thinning it down with water in a 50-50 ratio with Black Legion. We're going to apply this to the leathers, the cloak and the pouches, as well as any silver sections. Now if you have Norn Oil or Basilicon and Grate in your arsenal of paint, you use that instead. I wasn't happy with the boots, as you can see, so I'm applying a second coat of Thin Down Black Legion. For the carapace armor on a grenadier, I'm going to be using black leading straight from the pot. However, that flak armor, which is, I guess, designed to soak up some of those blasts, we're going to be using the thinned down version, as that's going to give it a slightly grayer tone. For any gold details like the sword hilt and imperial eagles, we shall pick this out with retributor armor. Now for the skin, you can use any color of your choice. 
for the Sergeant, I'm going to be using Rakar Flesh as the base coat. And for the Plasma Gunner, I'm going to be using Blood Reaver Flesh. Whilst our pot of Rakar Flesh is open, I'm just going to base coat the helmet and shoulder pad of our medic. This is going to give it a nice off-white creamy tone. the golden skin details, what we're now going to do is coat over these with golden flesh. I'm thinning it down with water, so 50-50 ratio for this. And if you need to, just in the eye slits, I'm just going to drop a little bit of Black Legion there as well. Now for the glow effects, such as the plasma, the lenses and lamps, we're going to use white as a base coat here. Now, any white will do, but I'm using Bold Titanium White from Pro Acryl. Get a nice plasma glow. What we're going to do is get some frost art and then thin this down again 50 50 water and apply that over our plasma glow, both on the pistol and on the gunner as well. And for any buttons and lenses, we're now gonna coat over these with thin down bar red. Now it's a nice bright red, so I am thinning this down 50-50 with water. and just applying that all over those lenses and eyes. And for those cables, what we're now going to do is get bar red and use that straight from the pot. And also don't forget to add this to the medic symbol on his helmet, on his shoulder pad, and also on his backpack. Now the model's pretty much painted and ready for the tabletop, we do need to base them so you can start playing some games with them. Now I'm going to try and reuse as many of those paints as I can, however we've got a texture paint there, I'm going to paint the rim with steel legion drab. But, we're using Gunman Flesh here, and dry brush it over with Rakar Flesh because the colours you've already got. So starting first we're going to get some Astro Granite, and we're going to coat that all over the base. As I get nearest to details like the feet, I like to add a little bit of water as it makes it a little bit more runny and it's a lot more workable around those areas, so you get less splodges on your boots that way. You want to leave it for around about an hour to dry once it's all applied. With the texture dry, what I'm now going to do is get some Gunnaman Flesh, thin it down again, 50-50 water, and just apply that all over. Again, just giving it a bit more of a muddy look. Now you can dry brush with any light tone as you want to. We've already got Rakar Flesh in the paints that we're using, so I'm just going to dry brush over it with Rakar Flesh. Now I'm going to apply three thin coats of Steel Legion Drab to the base rim. This will just give it a nice smooth finish once it's all dry. Now initially I was going to base these guys up just to fit with that Galadark theme, but I decided to do something a bit different because I'll probably want to use them on other game tables as well, like outside shooting baddies. So what we did, we got some of the army painter tufts. So we've got Deadland tufts and Winter tufts, and we just sprinkled a couple of Again, when you're applying grass tufts to bases, don't overthink it. I know I say this a few times, just add a couple here and I've just added another tone there just to try and break up a little bit. So one or two here on one model, three on another, four on another. Just don't think about it. I know it sounds weird. I mean, you do think about it, but try not to think about it. There we are with them based. Our quick and simple Inquisitorial Stormtrooper colour scheme is now done. Now, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button. We all know it's down here. I won't do a grumpy face, don't do the thumbs. Don't do that. We don't like thumbs down. No, we don't. However, if you want to add some more extra details like highlights and uh, Inquisitorial paint on the shoulder pad, I'm going to show you how to freehand that really quickly and easily. Without transfers, you don't need decals or transfer. I'll show you how to do that. Stay tuned or make a copper. I don't care. I do care. Stay tuned.
Now we should chip up the armor using iron hand steel. This will make our stormtroopers feel a little bit more rough and battle hardened. And who doesn't like chips? Now, normally when I chip armor, I like to use a sponge because it's a bit more random and it just looks cooler. However, you've done a lot of base kill already and there's a danger of getting something on the red and other details. So I'm just going to be a bit more controlled, use a brush and just go along the edge. It's almost like edge highlight, but you're just doing little jags here and there. So again, just take time, find a small brush. I'm going to be using the Army Painter character brush because it's a To add some punch to our red cloth, we shall highlight any raised areas using Wazdaka Red. Again, if you make a mistake, you can always tidy back up with some of those previous colours. <laughs> using Storm Vim Fear, we shall now highlight any leather sections where possible using the edge of the brush like so. Also, for any age or scratches, simply thin down the paint a little and just flick little lines across the boots, or as you can see here on the body armor. For our sniper, I opted not to do a camo pattern for this. I'm just gonna highlight it with gray because it's more like a shroud cloak. But start off with, I am gonna dry brush that. Once the dry brush is done, I'm then just gonna get some thin down, storm over fit, and just do a little highlight here and there. Again, just popping the odd little scratch in. To give our glowy effects a little bit more glow, we're just going to highlight these with bold titanium white. And for the plasma, we shall heavily thin this down and run into the recesses of the plasma pistol and on the gunner too. And I'm also going to use a little bit of white just to highlight the medic's shoulder pad and helm as well. For the skin, I'm just going to tidy back up or re-highlight using Rakar flesh for the sergeant and Blood Reaver flesh for the plasma gun. And if needed, reapply thin down gunman flesh to the face. This will just subtly knock back those highlights. As you can see, I'm doing that on the sergeant here. So at this point, our Inquisitorial Stormtroopers are pretty much done. However, I just want to add a little bit more detail to it and give them like a nice Inquisitorial eye or uppercase eye on their shoulder pad. Now, there is no decals out there. There are a couple of you can look at if like you look at the Sister Battle, there's something that's close to it, you can probably use those. But I'm just going to show you a quick way of freehanding it that might see it is quite off-putting. You're always like, freehand, oh no, that's quite scary. But just a couple of colors. I'm using white and black and the black is there just to tidy when I make mistakes. So first of all, we're gonna try and break it down into simple shapes. So the first thing we're gonna do here is draw a thin vertical line. Again, we're trying to make it a uppercase I here. Then at the top and the bottom of that vertical line, I'm gonna draw two little horizontal lines. Once they're done, I'm just gonna thicken up that central vertical line just to make it a little bit more bulky. And then it's just a case of adding those three lines in the center, the middle one, be the longest and the other two above and below that being slightly shorter. Now if you do make a mistake such as like you made your eye a bit blotchy or some of the like the horizontal lines are a bit too thick or too long just cut back in with a little bit of Black Legion and again you can also use the Black Legion just to chip up and scuff that inquisitorial eye as well so it kind of works with that battle hardened kind of chipped up armor as well. There we are, with that done, we have now taken our Inquisitor Stormtroopers to the next level, just by adding a few highlights. Doesn't really do that much, but it looks nicer. And if you're short on time, you don't have to do it. Just chip the armor, maybe highlight the cloth, don't do anything else, it's entirely up to you. Now, we have a whole bunch of links in the description. Everything we've used in this video can be bought from our affiliate links, which are in the bottom. We've got Element Games, which is UK based. And we also have a nice new cool German one, which unfortunately I can't pronounce because I'm stupid but I will work on it and get the name correctly. In fact, you can just probably drop it in the comments how to say it phonetically just to help me out because I'm old and stupid. And it just means you get your stuff if you like living in Europe, a lot easier, you'd have to worry about Brexit and all that kind of nonsense. Also, we have Patreon. Don't we all love Patreon? So you can help support our channel on Patreon. That's really helpful, keeps the lights going, keeps us fueled in tea. 
Uh, but we also have loads of cool benefits like behind the scene, Discord ponning rights, you know, we always stick out those ponning rights out there. You get feedback from me, one-to-one -one tuition as well, if you wanted it. And also don't remember to hit that like and subscribe button because that really helps support our channel as well. Well, farewell you all. I love you. And remember, to have a model unpainted, that is the mark of the mutants or a parent or someone who is really busy. Anyway, I love you all. Bye-bye.